Hi, I'm Mike Farney, producer on Yars Revenge, and today we'll be looking at the bugs and weapons of Yars. So the conflict of the game centers on the hostility between two races, the noble and long-vanished Yar, for whom the main character is named, and the industrial warring Quotile. The Quotile themselves are a parasitic alien race determined to capture and destroy all other intelligent species. While they're mainly descendants of insects that have been mutated in a spacefaring accident, they've twisted and modified technology to suit their own purposes. In the game, you'll see that Quotile have basically thrown everything they can at you to prevent Yar from liberating her people. Swarmers, flyers, crawlers, walkers, and loads of other enemies stand in the way of their freedom. Despite the odds, Yar is equipped with a virtual arsenal to squash the bugs. She has her standard pulse laser, which deals decent damage and works well on flying enemies. She can lock onto the Quotile forces and unleash a devastating barrage of missiles, and she's also armed with a railgun that is particularly harmful to ground enemies and crawlers. And if things get really out of hand, she can activate her shields to absorb enemy attacks, or even restore a small part of her health. All these capabilities are upgradable throughout the course of the game, either through the bonus pickups or armor advancements. The most powerful weapon in her arsenal, however, is the Zorlon Cannon. Only usable in special circumstances, this devastating attack will kill most creatures on screen and deal heavy damage to anything left. We hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek at Yar's Revenge and look for it when it's released this spring. <laughs>